Psalm 101. I will sing of a steadfast love and justice oh, to you, O Lord. I will make music. I will ponder the way that is blameless. Oh, when will you come to me? I will walk with integrity of heart within my house. I will not set before my eyes anything that is worthless. I hate the work of those who fall away. It shall not cling to me. A perverse heart shall be far from me. I will know nothing of evil. Whoever slanders his neighbor secretly, I will destroy. Whoever has a haughty look and an arrogant heart, I will not endure. I will look with favor on the faithful in the land, that they may dwell with me. He who walks in the way that is blameless shall minister to me. No one who practices deceit shall dwell in my house. No one who utters lies shall continue before my eyes. Morning by morning I will destroy all the wicked in the land, cutting off all the evildoers from, city, from the city of the Lord. <clears throat> Chapter 102 Hear my prayer, O Lord, let my cry come to you. Do not hide your face from me in the day of my distress. Incline your ear to me, answer me speedily in the day when I call. For my days have for my days pass away like smoke, and my bones burn like a furnace. My heart is struck down like grass and has withered. I forgot to eat my bread because of my loud groaning. My bones cling to my flesh. I am like a desert owl of the wilderness, like an owl of the waste places. I lie awake. I am like a lonely sparrow on the house top, all the on the house top. All the day my enemies taunt me, those who deride me use my name for a curse. For I eat ashes like bread and mingle tears with my drink because of your indignation and anger. For you have taken me up and thrown me down. My days are like an evening shadow. I wither away like grass. But you, O Lord, are enthroned forever. You are remembered throughout all generations. You will arise and have pity on Zion. It is the time to favor her. The appointed time has come. For your servants hold her stones dear and have pity on her dust. Nations will fear the name of the Lord and all the kings of the earth will fear your glory. For the Lord builds up Zion. He appears in his glory. He regards the prayer of the destitute and does not despise their prayer. Let this be recorded for a generation to come, so that a people yet to be created may praise the Lord, that he looked down from his holy height. From heaven the Lord looked at the heaven, no, for the Lord looked at the earth to bear the groans of the prisoners, to set free those to set free those who were doomed to die. <clears throat> that they may declare in Zion the name of the Lord, and in Jerusalem his praise, when peoples gather together and kingdoms to worship the Lord. He has broken my strength in mid-course. He has shortened my days. O oh my God, I say, take me away in the midst of my days. You whose years endure throughout all generations. O oh, of old you laid the foundation of the earth, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They will perish, but you will remain. You will wear out they will wear out like a garment, you will change them like a robe, and they will pass away. But you are the same, and your years have no end. The children of your servants shall dwell secure. Their offspring shall be established before you. <clears throat> Chapter 103 Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. 
Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquity, who heals all your diseases, who redeems you your life from the pit, who crowns you with steadfast love and mercy, who satisfies you with good, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his, act, his acts to the people of Israel. The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. He will not always chide, nor will he keep his anger forever. He does not, he does not deal with us according to our sins, nor repay us according to our iniquities. For as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his steadfast love towards those who, love, who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far, so far does he remove our transgressions from us. As the Father throws, shows compassion to his children, so the Lord shows the compassion to those who fear him. <coughs> For he knows our frame, he remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, he flourishes like a flower of the field. For the wind passes over it, and it is gone, and its place knows it no more. But the steadfast love of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him, and his righteousness to children's children, to those who keep his covenant and remember to do his commandments. The, the Lord has established his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, O you his angels, you mighty ones who do his word, obeying the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all his hosts, his ministers who do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Chapter 104 O oh Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with splendor and majesty, covering yourself with light as with a garment, stretching out heavens, the heavens like a tent. He lays the, the beams of his chambers on the waters. He makes the clouds his chariot. He rides on the wings of the wind. He makes his messengers winds. His, his, ministers, are a, his ministers are a flaming fire. He set the earth on its foundations so that it would never be moved. You covered it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At your rebuke they fled. At the sound of your thunder they took no flight. They took to flight. The mountains rose, the valleys sank down to the place that you appointed for them. You set a boundary that they may not pass so that they might not again cover the earth. You make the springs gush forth in the valleys. They flow between the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild donkeys quench their thirst. Beside them the birds of the heavens dwell. They sing among the branches. From your lofty abode you water the, mountain, the mountains. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of it, your work. You cause the grass to grow for the living stock and plants for man to cultivate that he may bring forth food from the earth and wine to gladden the heart of man, oil to make his face shine and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly, the cedars of Lebanon that he planted in them the birds build their nests, the stork has her home in the fir trees. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> the high mountain are the high mountains are for the wild goats. The rocks are a refuge for the rock badgers. He made the moon to mark the seasons. The sun knows it's time for setting. You make darkness and it is night when the beasts of the forest creep about. The young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. 
When the sun rises, they steal away and lie down in their dens. Man goes out to his work and his to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifest are your works in wisdom. You ha have you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Here is the sea, great and wide, which teems with creatures un innumerable. Living things both small and great, there go the ships and leviathan, which you formed to play in it. These all look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give it to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the ground. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works, who looks on the earth and it trembles, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to God while I have being. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Praise the Lord. Chapter 105 O oh, give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the peoples, sing to him, sing praises to him, Tell of all his wondrous works. <clears throat> Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his presence continually. Remember the wondrous works that he has done, his miracles and his judgment he uttered. O offspring of Adam, his servants, children of Jacob, his chosen ones. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are, are in all the earth. He remembers his covenant forever, the word he commanded for a thousand generations, the covenant that he made with Abraham, his sworn promise to Isaac, when he confirmed Jacob as a statute to Israel as an everlasting covenant, saying to you, I will give the land of Canaan as your portion for an inheritance. When they were few in number, of little account, and sojourners in it, wandering from nation to nation, from one kingdom to another people, he allowed no one to oppress them. He rebuked kings on their account, saying, Touch not mine anointed ones, and do my prophets no harm. <clears throat> when he summoned a famine on the land, and broke all supply of bread, he had sent a man ahead of them, Joseph, who was sold as a slave. His feet were hurt with feathers, his neck was put in a collar of iron, until he had said, until what he had said came to pass, the word of the Lord tested him. The king sent and released him, the ruler of the peoples set him free. He made him lord of his house, and ruler of all his possessions to bind his princes at his pleasure, and to teach his elders wisdom. Then Israel came to Egypt. Jacob sojourned in the land of Ham, and the Lord made his people very fruitful, and made them stronger than their foes. He turned their hearts to hate his people, to deal craftily with his servants. He sent Moses his servant and Aaron, whom he had chosen. They performed the sign, his signs among them and miracles in the land of Ham. He sent darkness and made the land dark. He did not rebel against his words. He turned the waters into blood and caused their fish to die. Their land swarmed with frogs, even in the chambers of their kings. He spoke and there came a swarm of flies and gnats throughout their country. He gave them no hail. He gave them hail for rain, and fiery lightning bolts through their land. He struck down their vines and fig trees. 
and shattered the trees of their country. He spoke, and the locusts came, young locusts without number, who devoured all the vegetation in their land and ate up the fruit of their ground. He, he struck down all the firstborn of their land, the first fruits of all their strength. There he brought out Israel with silver and gold, and there was none among his tribes who stumbled. There was none among his tribes who stumbled. Egypt was glad when they departed, for dread of them had fallen upon it. He spread a cloud for a covering, and fire to give light by light. They asked, and he brought quail, and gave them bread from heaven in abundance. He opened the rock, and water gushed out. It flowed through the desert like a river. For he remembered his holy promise, and Abraham his servant. So he brought, so he brought out his people with joy, his chosen ones with singing. And he gave them the plant, gave them the lands of the nations, and they took possession of the fruit of the people's toil, that they might keep his statutes and observe his laws. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Chapter 106. Praise the Lord, or give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Who can utter the mighty deeds of the Lord, or declare all his praise. Blessed are they who observe justice, who do righteousness at all times. Remember, O Lord, when you show favor to your people, help me when you save them, that I may look upon the prosperity of your chosen ones, that I may rejoice in the gladness of your nation, that I may glory with your inheritance. Both we and our fathers have sinned, we have committed iniquity, we have done wickedness. Our fathers, when they were in Egypt, did not consider your wondrous works. They did not remember the abundance of your steadfast love, but, but rebelled by the sea at the Red Sea. Yet he, he saved them for his name's sake, that he may be known, that he make known his mighty power. He rebuked the Red Sea, and it became dry, and he led them through the deepest through a desert. So he saved them from the land, from the hand of the foe, and redeemed them from the power of the enemy. And the waters covered their adversaries, not one of them was left. Then they believed his words, they sang his praise, but they soon forgot his works. They did not wait for his counsel, but they had a wanton craving for the will in the wilderness and put God to the test in the desert. He gave them what they asked, but sent a, wet, a wasting disease among them. When men in the camp were jealous of Moses and Aaron, the Holy One of the Lord, the earth opened and swallowed up Dathan and covered the company of Abiram. Fire also broke out in their company. The flame burned up the wicked. They made a calf in Horeb and worshipped the metal image. They exchanged the glory of God for the image of an ox that eats grass. They forgot God, their Savior, who has done great things in Egypt, wondrous works in the land of Ham, and awesome deeds by the Red Sea. Therefore he said he would destroy them. Had not Moses, his chosen one, stood in the bridge before him to turn away his wrath from destroying them? Then they despised the pleasant land, having no faith in his promise. They murmured in their hearts and did not obey the voice of the Lord. Therefore he raised his hand and swore to them that he would make them fall in the wilderness and would make their offspring fall among the nations scattering them among the lands. Then they yoked themselves to the Baal of Peor and ate sacrifices offered to the dead. They provoked the Lord to anger with their deeds, and a plague broke out among them. Then Phinehas stood up and intervened with the plague was stayed, and that was consulted, no, counted to him as righteousness, 
from generation to generation forever. They angered him in the waters of Meribah, and with and it went ill with Moses on their account, for they made his spirit bitter, and he spoke rashly with his lips. They did not destroy the peoples as the Lord commanded them, but they mixed with the nations and learned to do as they did. They served their idols, which became a snare to them. They sacrificed their sons and their daughters to the demons. They poured out innocent blood, the blood of their sons and daughters, whom they sacrificed to the idols of Canaan. And the land was polluted with blood. Thus they became unclean by their acts and played the whore in their deeds. Then the anger of the Lord was kindled against his people and he abhorred his heritage. He gave them into the hand of the nations, so that those who hated them ruled over them. Their enemies oppressed them, and they were brought into subjection under their power. Many times he delivered them, but they were rebellious in their purposes, and were brought low through their iniquity. Nevertheless, he looked upon their distress, when he heard their cry, for their sake he remembered his covenant, and relented according to the abundance of his steadfast love. He caused them to be pitied by all those who held them captive. Save us, O Lord our God, and gather us from among the nations, that we may give thanks to your holy name and glory in your praise. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, from everlasting to everlasting. And let all the people say, Amen. Praise the Lord. Chapter 107 Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from trouble, and gathered in from the lands, from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Some wandered in desert wastes, finding no way in a city to dwell in, finding no way to a city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their soul fainted within them. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He led them by the straight way, till they reached the city to dwell in. Let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love, for his wondrous works to the children of man. For he satisfies the longing soul, and the hungry soul he fills with good things. Some sat in darkness and in the shadow of death, prisoners in affliction and in irons, for they had rebelled against the Lord of the words of God, and spurned the counsel of the Most High. So he bowed their heads down with hard labor. They fell down with none to help. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he had delivered them from their distress. He brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death, and burst their bonds apart. Let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love for his wondrous works to the children of man. For he shatters the doors of bronze and cuts into bars of iron. Some were fools through their sinful ways and because of their iniquity suffered affliction. They loathed any kind of food and they drew near to the gates of death. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble and he delivered them from their distress. He sent out his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destruction. Let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love, for his wondrous works to the children of man, and let them offer sacrifices of thanksgiving, and tell of his deeds in songs of joy. Some went down to the sea in ships, doing business on the great waters. They saw the deeds of the Lord, his wondrous works in the deep. For he commanded and raised the stormy wind, which lifted up the waves of the sea. 
They mounted up to heaven, they went down to the depths, their courage melted away in their evil plight. They reeled and staggered like drunken men, and were at their wit's end, that they then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them from their distress. He made the storm be still, and the waves of the sea were hushed. Then they were glad that the waters were quiet, and and he brought them to their desired haven. Let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love, for his wondrous works to the children of man. Of man. Let them extol him in the congregation of the people, and praise him in the assembly of the elders. He turns rivers into a desert, springs of water into thirsty ground, a fruitful land into a salty waste, because of the evil of its inhabitants. He turns it desert into pools of water, a parched land into springs of water, and there he lets the hungry dwell, and they establish a city to live in. They sow fields and plant vineyards, and get a fruitful yield. By his blessing they multiply greatly, and he does not let their livestock diminish. When they are diminished and brought low, through oppression, evil, and sorrow, he pours contempt on princes and makes them wander in trackless wastes. But he raises up the needy out of affliction and makes their families like flocks. The upright see it and are glad, and all wickedness shuts its mouth. Whoever is wise, let him attend to these things. Let them consider the steadfast love of the Lord. Chapter 108 <clears throat> My heart is steadfast, O God. I will sing and make melody with all of my being. Awake, O harp and lyre. I will awake the dawn. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, among the peoples. I will sing praises to you among the nations. For your steadfast love is great above the heavens. Your steadfast, your faithfulness reaches to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be all over, be over all the earth. Let your beloved ones may be delivered. Give salvation by your right hand and answer me. God has promised in his holiness with exaltation. I will divide up Shechem and apportion out the valley of Sokoth. Gilead is mine, Manasseh is mine, Ephraim is my helmet, Judah my scepter, Moab is my washbasin, upon Edom I cast my shoe, over Philistia I shout in triumph. <sighs> Who will bring me to the fortified city? Who will lead me to Edom? Have you not rejected us, O God? You do not go out, O God, with our armies. O oh, grant us help against the foe, for vain is the salvation of man. With God we shall do valiantly, it is he who will tread down our foes. Chapter 109 Be not silent, O God of my praise, for wicked and deceitful mouths are open against me, speaking against me with lying tongues. They encircle me with words of hate, and attack me without cause. In return for my love they accuse me, but I give myself to prayer. So they reward me evil for good, and hatred for my love. Appoint a wicked man against him, let an accuser stand at his right hand. When he is tried, let him come forth guilty, let his prayer be counted as sin. May his days be few, may another take his office, may his children be fatherless, and his wife a widow. May his children wander about and beg, seeking food from the ruins they inhabit. May the creditor seize all that he has, may strangers plunder the fruits of his toil. Let there be none to extend kindness to him. 
nor any to pity his fatherless children. May his posterity be cast off, be cut, be, excuse me, may his posterity be cut off, may his name be blotted out in second generation, may the iniquity of his fathers be remembered before the Lord, and let not the sin of his mother be blotted out, let them be before the Lord continually, that he may be cut off the memory of them, that he may cut off the memory of them from the earth. For he did not remember to show kindness, but pursued the poor and needy and the brokenhearted to put them to death. He loved to curse, let curses come upon him. He did not delight in blessing, may it be far from him. He clothed himself with cursing as his coat. May it soak into his body like water, like oil into his bones. May it be like a garment that he wraps around him, like a belt that he puts on every day. May this be the reward of my accusers from the Lord, of those who speak evil against my life. But you, O God, my Lord, deal on my behalf for your name's sake. Because your steadfast love is good, deliver me. For I am poor and needy, and my heart is stricken within me. I am gone like a shadow at evening. I am shaken off like a locust. My knees are weak through fasting. My body has become gaunt with no fat. I am an object of scorn to my accusers. When they see me, they wag their heads. Help me, O Lord my God. Save me according to your steadfast love. Let them know that this is your hand. You, O Lord, have done it. Let them curse, but you will bless. They curse, they arise and are put to shame, but your servant will be glad. May my accusers be clothed with dishonor. May they be wrapped in their own shame as in a cloak. With my mouth I will give great thanks to the Lord. I will praise him in the midst of the throng. For he stands at the right hand of the needy one to save him from those who condemn his soul to death. Chapter 110 The Lord says to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies my footstool. The Lord sends forth from Zion you might, your mighty scepter, Rule in the midst of your enemies. Your people will offer themselves freely on the day of your power in holy garments from the womb of the morning. The dew of your youth will be yours. The Lord has sworn and will not change his mind. You are a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. The Lord is at your right hand. He will shatter the kings on the day of his wrath. He will execute judgment upon the nations, filling them with corpses. He will sh shatter chiefs over the wide earth. He will drink from the brook by the way. Therefore, he will lift up his head. Chapter 111 I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart in the company of the upright in the congregation. Great are the works of the Lord studied by all who delight in them, full of splendor and majesty in his work, and righteousness in, and his righteousness endures forever. He has caused his wondrous works to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and merciful. He provides food for those who fear him. He remembers his covenant forever. He, was, he has shown to his people the power of his works in giving them the inheritance of the nations. The works of his hands are faithful and just. All his precepts are trustworthy. They are established forever and ever to be performed with faithfulness and uprightness. He sent redemption to his people. He has commanded his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. All those who practice it have a good understanding. His praise endures forever. Chapter 112 Praise the Lord, 
Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commandments. His offspring will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches are in his house, and his righteousness endures forever. Light dawns in the darkness for the upright. He is gracious, merciful, and righteous. It is well with the man who deals generously and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. For the righteous will never be moved. He will be remembered forever. He is not afraid of bad news. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. His heart is steady. He will not be afraid until he looks in triumph on his adversaries. He has distributed freely. He has given to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. His horn is exalted in honor. The wicked man sees it and is angry. He gnashes his teeth and melts away. The desire of the wicked will perish. Chapter 113 Praise the Lord, praise, O servants of the Lord, praise the name of the Lord. Blessed, blessed be the name of the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. The Lord is high above all nations, and his glory above the heavens. Who is like the Lord our God, who is seated on high, who looks far down the heavens and the earth. He raises the poor from the dust, and he lifts the needy from the ash heap, to make them sit with princes. With the princes of his people, he gives the barren woman a home, making her the joyous mother of children. Praise the Lord. Chapter 114 When Israel went out from Egypt, the house of Jacob, from a people of, of strange language, Judah became his sanctuary, Israel his dominion. The sea looked and fled, Jordan turned back, the mountains skipped like rams and hills like lambs. What ails you, O sea, that you flee, O Jordan, that you turn back? O mountains, that you skip like rams, O hills like lambs, tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord, as the presence of the God of Jacob who turns the rock into a pool of water, the flint into a spring of water. Chapter 114, no, chapter 115. Not, not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to your name give glory, for the sake of your steadfast love and your faithfulness. Why should the nation say, where is their God? Our God is in the heavens, he does all that he pleases. Their idols are silver and gold, their work of human hands. They have mouths but do not speak, eyes but do not see. They have ears but do not hear, noses but do not smell. They have hands but do not feel, feet but do not walk, and they do not make a sound in their throat. They who make them become like them, so, all, so do all who trust in them. O Israel, trust in the Lord. He is their heap and their shield. O house of Aaron, trust in the Lord. He is their hope and their shield. You who fear the Lord must must trust in, excuse me. You who fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. The Lord has remembered us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord both the small and the great. May the Lord give you increase, you and your children. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. The heavens are the Lord's heavens, but the earth he has given to the children of men. The dead do not praise the Lord, nor do any who go down into silence. But we will bless the Lord from the time forth and forevermore. Praise the Lord. Chapter 116 I love the Lord because he has heard my voice and my pleas for mercy, because he inclined his ear to me. Therefore I will call on him as long as I live. 
The snares of death encompassed me. The pangs of Sheol laid, laid hold on me. I suffered distress and anguish. Then I called upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, I pray, deliver my soul. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Our God is merciful. The Lord preserves the simple. When I was brought low, he saved me. Return, O my soul, to your rest. For the Lord has dwelt bountifully with you. For you have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, my eyes from bullying. I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. I believed even when I spoke, I am greatly afflicted. I said in my alarm, all mankind are liars. What shall I render to the Lord for all his benefits to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. O Lord, I am your servant. I am your servant, the son of your maid servant. You have loosed my bonds. I will suffer to you. The sacrifice of thank sorry, I will offer to you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people, in the court of the house of the Lord, in your midst or Jerusalem, praise the Lord. Chapter one hundred and seventeen Praise the Lord all nations, extol him all peoples. He for great is the steadfast for great is his steadfast love towards us and the faithfulness of the lord endures forever praise the lord chapter 118 oh give thanks to the lord for he is good for his steadfast love endures forever let israel say his steadfast love endures forever let the house of aaron say his steadfast love endures forever let those who fear the Lord say his steadfast love endures forever. Out of distress I called on the Lord. The Lord answered me and set me free. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do to me? The Lord is on my side as my helper. I shall look in triumph on those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. All nations surrounded me. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. They surrounded me, surrounded me on every side. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. They surrounded me like bees. They went out like a fire among thorns. In the name of the Lord, I cut them off. I was pushed hard, but I was falling. But the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. Glad songs of salvation are in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. The right hand of the Lord exalts. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I shall not die, but I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. The, young, the Lord has disciplined me severely but he has not given me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter it. I thank you. You have answered, my, answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become my cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Save us, we pray, O Lord. O Lord, we pray, give us success. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has made his light to shine upon us. Bind the festal sacrifice with cords up to the horns of the altar you are my god and i will give you thanks to you you are my god i will extol you 
O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Psalm 119, excuse me, chapter 119. Blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walks in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with their whole heart, who also do no wrong, but walk in his ways. You have commanded your precepts to be kept diligently. Oh, that my ways may be steadfast in keeping your statutes, that I shall not be put to shame, having my eyes fixed on all your commandments. I will praise you with an upright heart when I learn your righteous rules. I will keep your statutes. Do not utterly forsake me. How can a young man keep his way pure by guarding it according to your word? With your whole heart, I, with my whole heart, I seek you. Let me not wander from your commandments. I have stored up your word in my heart, that I might not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. With my lips I declare all the rules of your mouth. In the days of your testimonies, I delight as much in all as in all riches. I will meditate on your precepts and fix my eyes on your ways. I will delight in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Deal bountifully with your servant, that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes, that I may behold wondrous things out of your law. I am a sojourner on the earth. Hide not your commandments from me. My soul is consumed with lying for your rules at all times. You rebuke the insolent, accursed ones who wander from your commandments. Take, take away from me scorn and contempt, for I have kept your testimonies, even though princes sit plotting against me. Your servant will meditate on your statutes. Your testimonies are my delight, they are my counselors. My soul clings to the dust. Give me life according to your word. When I told you of my ways, you answered me. Teach me your statutes. Make me understand the ways of your precepts. And I will meditate on your wondrous works. My soul melts away from sor for sorrow. Strengthen me according to your word. Put false ways far from me, and, at, and graciously teach me your law. I have chosen the way of faithfulness. I set your rules before me. I cling to your testimonies, O Lord. Let me not be put to shame. I will run in the way of your commandments when you enlarge my heart. Teach me, O Lord, the way of your statutes, and I will keep it to the end. Give me understanding that I may keep your law and observe it with my whole heart. Lead me in the path of your commandments, for I delight in it. Incline my heart to your testimonies and not to selfish gain. Turn your eyes from looking at worthless things and give me life in your ways. Confirm to your servants your promise that you may be feared. Turn away the reproach that I dread. For your servants are good. Behold, I wait, I long for your precepts. In your righteousness, give me life. Let your steadfast love come to me, O Lord, your salvation according to your promise. Then shall I have an answer for him who taunts me, for I trust in your word. And take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth, for my hope is in your rules. I will keep your law continually forever and ever. I shall walk in a wide place, for I have sought your precepts. I will also speak of your testimonies before kings, and shall not be put to shame, for I delight, for I find my delight in your commandments, which I love. I will lift up my hands toward your commandments, which I love, and I will meditate on your statutes. Remember your word to your servant, in which you have made the hope. This is my comfort in my affliction, that your promise gives me life. The insolent utterly 
the insolent utterly derive me, but I do not turn away from your law. When I think of your rules from of old, I take comfort, O Lord. Hot indignation seizes me because of the wicked who forsake your law. Your statutes have been my songs in the house of my sojourning. I remember your name in the, in the night, O Lord, and keep your law. This blessing has fallen to me, that I have kept your precepts. The Lord is my portion. I promise to keep your words. I entreat your favor with all my heart. Be gracious to me according to your promise. When I think on my ways, I turn my feet to the testimonies. I hasten and do not delay to keep your commandments. Though the cords of the wicked ensnare me, I do not forget your law. At midnight I rise to praise you because of your righteous rules. I am a companion of all who fear you of those who keep your precepts. The earth, O Lord, is full, is full of your steadfast love. Teach me your statutes. You have dwelt well with your servant, O Lord, according to your word. Teach me good judgment and knowledge, for I believe in your commandments. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I keep your word. You are good and do good, teach me your statutes. The insolent smear me with lies, but with my whole heart I keep your precepts. Their heart is unfeeling like fat, but I delight in your law. It is good for me that I was afflicted, that I might learn your statutes. The law of, the law of your mouth is better to me than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Your hand has have made and has fashioned me. Give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. Those who fear you shall see me and rejoice, because I have hoped in your word. I know, O Lord, that your rules are righteous, and that in faithfulness you have afflicted me. Let your steadfast love comfort me, according to your promise to your servant. Let your mercy come to me that I may live, for your law is my delight. Let the insolent be put to shame, because they have wronged me with falsehood. As for me, I will meditate on your precepts. Let those who fear you turn to me, that they may know your testimonies. May my heart be blameless in your statutes, that I may not be put to shame. My soul longs for your salvation. I hope in your word. My eyes long to see for my eyes long for you for your promise. I ask, when will you comfort me? For I have become like a wineskin in the smoke, yet I have not forgotten your statutes. How long must your servant endure? When will you judge those who persecute me? The insolent have dug pitfalls for me. They do not live according to your law. All your commandments are sure. They persecute me with falsehood. Help me. They have almost made an end to me on earth, but I have not forsaken your precepts. In your steadfast love, give me life, that I may keep the testimonies of your mouth. Forever, Lord, your word is firmly fixed in the heavens. Your faithfulness endures to all generations. You have established the earth, and it stands fast. By your appointment they stand this day, for all things are your servants. If your law had been my delight, I would. No, if your light had not been my delight, I would have perished in my affliction. I will never forget your precepts, for by them you have given me life. I am yours, save me, for I have sought your precepts. The wicked lie in wait to destroy me, but I consider your testimonies. I have seen a limit to all perfection, but your com commandment is exceedingly broad. Oh, how I love your law! It is my meditation all the day. Your commandment makes me wiser. 
than my enemies, for it is ever with me. I have more understanding than all of my teachers, for your testimonies are my meditation. I understand more than the aged, for I keep your precepts. I hold back my feet from every evil way in order to keep your word. I do not turn aside from your rules, for you have taught me. How sweet are your words to my taste, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through your precepts I get understanding, therefore I hate every false way. Your Lord is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I have sworn an oath and confirmed it to keep your righteous rules. I am severely afflicted. Give my life, O Lord, according to your word. Accept my free will offerings of praise, O Lord and teach me your rules. I built my life in my hand continually, but I do not forget your law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, but I will not stray from your precepts. Your testimonies are my heritage forever, for they are the joy of my heart. I incline my heart to perform your statutes forever to the end. I hate the double-minded, but I love your law. You are my hiding place and my shield. I hope in your word, depart from me, you evildoers, that I may keep the commandments of my God. Uphold me according to your promise, that I may live. And let me not be put to shame in my hope. Hold me up, that I may be safe and, reg and have regard for your statutes continually. You spurn all who go astray from your statutes, for their cunning is in vain. All the wicked of the earth you discard like dross. Therefore I love your testimonies. My flesh trembles for fear of you, and I am afraid of your judgments. I'm gonna take a quick sip of water. I forgot where, where I left off. Let's go to verse 116. <clears throat> Uphold me according to your promise that I may live, and let me not be put to shame in my hope. Hold me up that I may be safe, and have regard for your statutes continually. You spurn all who go astray from your statutes, for their cunning is in vain. All the wicked have, you have you discard like dross. Therefore I love your testimonies. My flesh trembles for fear of you, and I am afraid of your judgments. I have done what is just and right. Do not leave me to my oppressors. Give your servant a pledge of good. Let not the insolent oppress me. My eyes long for your salvation and for the fulfillment of your righteous promise. Deal with your servant according to your steadfast love, and teach me your statutes. I am your servant. Give me understanding, that I may know your testimonies. It is time for the Lord to act, for your Lord has been broke, for your law has been broken. Therefore, I love your commandments above gold, above fine gold. Therefore, consider all your pre Therefore, I consider all your precepts to be right. I hate every false way. Your testimonies are wonderful, therefore my soul keeps them. The unfolding of your words gives light. It imparts understanding to the simple. I open my mouth and pant, because I long for your commandments. Turn to me and be gracious to me, as in as is your way with those who love your name. Keep steady my steps among your promise to excuse me, keep steady my steps according to your promise and let iniquity get dominion over me. Wow, it's hard to say. Tongue twister. Verse 134. Redeem me, O, redeem me from my man's oppression that I may keep your 
precept. Make your face shine upon your servant and teach me your statutes. My eyes shed streams of tears because people do not obey your law. Righteous are you, O Lord, and right are your rules. You have appointed your testimonies in righteousness and in all faithfulness. My zeal consumes me because my foes forget your words. Your promise is well tried and your servant loves it. I am small and despised, yet I do not forget your precept. Your righteousness is righteous forever, O, oh, and your law is true. Trouble and anguish have, bef have found me out, but your commandments are my delight. Your testimonies are righteous forever. Give me understanding that I may live. With my whole heart I cry, answer me, O Lord. I will keep your statutes. I call to you, save me, that I may observe your testimonies. I, raise, I rise before dawn and cry for help. I hope in your words. My eyes are awake before the watches of the night, that I may meditate on your promise. <sighs> Hear my voice according to your steadfast love, O Lord, according to your to your justice give me life. They draw near who are perse who persecute me with evil purpose. They are far from your law. But you are near, O Lord, and all your commandments are true. Long have I known you from your testimonies, that you have founded them forever. Look on my affliction and deliver me, for I do not forget your law. Plead my cause and redeem me. Give me life according to your promise. Salvation is far from the wicked, for they do not seek your statutes. Great is your mercy, O Lord. Give me, give me life according to your rules. Many are my persecutors and my adversaries, but I do not swerve from your testimonies. Look at the faithless with disgust. I'm oh, sorry. I look at the faithless with disgust because they do not keep your commands. Consider how I love your precepts. Give me life according to your steadfast love. The sum of your word is truth, and every one of your righteous rules endures forever. Princes persecute me without cause, but my heart stands in awe of your words. I rejoice at your words like one who finds great spoil. I hate and abhor falsehood, but I love your law. Seven times a day I praise you for your righteous rules. Great peace have, have those who love your law. Nothing can make them stumble. I hope for your salvation, O Lord, and I do your commandments. My soul keeps your testimonies. I love them exceedingly. I keep your precepts and testimonies, for all my ways are before you. Let my cry come to you, O Lord. Give me understanding according to your word. Let my plea come before you. Deliver me according to your word. My lips will pour, pour forth praise, for you teach me your statutes. My tongue will sing of your word, for all the commandments are right. For, for all your commandments are right. Let your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your precepts. I long for your salvation, O Lord, and your law is my delight. Let my soul live and praise you, and let your rules help me. I have gone astray like a sheep. Seek your servant, for I do not forget your commandments. Chapter 120 In my distress I called to the Lord, and he answered me. Deliver me, O Lord, from lying lips, from a deceitful tongue. What shall be given to you? What shall be done to you, you deceitful tongue? A warrior's sharp arrows with glowing coals of the broom tree. Woe to me that I sojourn in Mechbesh, no, Meshech, that I dwell upon the tents of Kedar. Too long have I, too long have I had my dwelling among those who hate peace. I am for peace, but when I speak, they are for war.